Paths Network is a multi-faith hub, community without the chaos of social media. And this is an online community and not some form of social media. This network is a way to build bridges between people of wisdom traditions so that we can work together for our common good. We all have a part to play in building these bridges, including how we communicate with each other on the PATHS network. Together, we are a learning community. So we asked all of our community members to practice the following respectful communication guidelines that we've adapted from our friends at the Kaleidoscope Institute. First, take responsibility for what you say, feel, and for your own growth process. Number two, practice empathetic listening to the situation and feelings of others. Three, be sensitive to differences in communication styles. Fourth, ponder what you hear before you respond. In other words, slow those fingers down, right? Fifth, examine your own assumptions. Sixth, keep confidentiality so that you ask before you share another story. And lastly, trust ambiguity, that the whole truth is bigger than any one perspective, and that the growth process we're all going through will help us arrive at a deeper understanding of truth. You can learn more about the Kaleidoscope Institute at kscopeinstitute.org. As we respond to the challenges facing our world, we engage our most cherished values and our deepest longings. To meet these challenges, we need to learn from our diverse perspectives and wisdoms. But because we care so deeply and what we value is at stake, we may find ourselves feeling strong emotions as we interact. So we ask our community members to hold two values in tension as we learn and work together. First, risk giving and receiving honest feedback. And second, call each other in, not out. I'll explain that more in a moment. The people who join the PAS network are generally really nice people who have a vision and a passion for a better world. Sometimes nice people tend to avoid conflict. That happens to me. Sometimes people who intend well feel hurt when their perspective is challenged. That also happens to me. But the best chance we have to meet these challenges is to learn with and from each other. This means that we need to risk conflict. This means we need to listen to feedback so that we can learn to do our work better. A clearer view of ourselves and the world is a great asset. Sharing honest feedback is a gift. Receiving honest feedback is to honor what we value, the person giving it, and our own personal growth. As we do this, however, we want to call each other in, not call each other out. All of us are tempted to search for perfection or purity as we work for a world of justice and mutuality. This is not all bad. As the very desire for justice propels us to do our own work, but it can lead to canceling people or excluding people for honest disagreements, momentary mistakes, since we're all just human anyway, or being on a different part of the journey. This is often called canceling people or calling people out. So as we risk being honest, let's work to call people into a deeper relationship with us, discern how and where it's best to share our feedback, and so honor the value of the person we're sharing with and the community that we're building together. Let's work to identify what needs further work in each of us not move further away from each other. You know, we never agree with anyone 100% of the time. I don't agree with myself 100% of the time. The difference between a learning movement and an exclusive group is this. Learning movements welcome and learn from differences, 
while exclusive groups demand total conformity. How boring. The PAS network is a learning movement, not an exclusive group. The PAS network is a community without chaos so that we can be inspired by each other, nurture relationships so that we can work for the common good together. We invite you to join one or more of our groups, to participate in some of our classes, and look for opportunities to partner with people in your area or across the state. And know this, we're happy to learn with and from you and that we're in community with you.